What's up, Pokemon Trading Card Game fans? Welcome to episode 42 of the Special Conditions Podcast, where our love for Pokemon and collecting collide. Special Conditions is part of the Pokemon Professor Network, and today is July 6th, 2020. I'm one of your hosts, Adam Tuttle, and I'm joined by my co-host as always, Josh Brown. What is up? What's up, Adam? How you doing? How was your 4th of July weekend, sir? It was low-key. Good. As it, it should was be. was fun. But it was low key. Perfect. We played with some sparklers safely and <laughs> lots of glow sticks. Nice. I love because glow sticks. Because they're safe. Yeah. Just as long as you don't like put them in the microwave or bite them and sure. get the, the liquid all over you. Glow sticks are great for camping. Also, uh, life hack uh, you could buy them really cheap and a lot of them at dollar stores. Yes. Yeah. And that's what we did. Perfect. Look at that. Oh, and we did make the Funfetti cupcakes. Okay, okay. I know that's not, like, hey, super exciting. You know what? There's nothing wrong with Funfetti. But it's fun. Yeah. Fetty. <laughs> fun and for the whole Fetty. it doesn't taste like spaghetti. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad you had a good weekend, man. Yeah, but how was yours? Um, It was uh, challenging. Uh, where I live here in Vancouver, Washington, uh, fireworks are super legal, and all kind like pretty much anything short of dynamite which uh at some point like you can't tell the difference between dynamite and the fireworks that they sell legally so um it was it felt and sounded like a war zone for all weekend um saturday morning it started about 11 a.m and ended wow. about 2 a.m um and then a little bit more Sunday morning because people still didn't go to bed or woke up and felt like they needed to shoot more off. But uh, <sighs> they woke up and they were like, these ones are still not done. Yeah. Were they duds? I don't know. Let me find out and light them off. Uh, no, but uh, we, we have a, an older dog that we adopted last November uh, from a family member. And uh, she's older. She's grumpy. Um, she... Uh, has chronic seizures as it is um, from like head trauma as a puppy we assume and uh, she did not like the fireworks at all so every time one would go off which they were going off pretty regularly she would bark and she did have a seizure at one point um, in the afternoon Saturday and it's always tough and um, a, a miserable experience for everybody because it's it's hard to see a helpless animal like that and you can't do anything to help them except comfort them and wait for it to pass. Uh, so the fireworks I completely understand that. Were, were no fun for her, no fun for us. Um, we, you know, hung out all weekend, watched movies, played games, chilled, uh, watched Hamilton. Did you play any TCGO? No, I didn't, Adam. I'm sorry. It, it's... You gotta be. I have to be in the right mood for that, and I, I unfortunately was not this weekend. So, I all right, all right. You should text me, man. If you're ever feeling froggy and want to play, like you need to push me into it. You really do. Okay, challenge accepted. Yeah, yeah. So, because I am always feeling froggy. Yeah, more froggy than froggy, <laughs> but understandable, understandable. Yeah, but I would not play Greninja. Mm. That's fair. Anyway. Pokemon. But yeah, let's let's let the fans know what we're going to talk about today. Yes. <laughs> so on today's show, um, we're going to talk about the pickups, pickups of the week. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I was able to grab a Shining Legends box because Hidden Fates are sold out. Again. Everywhere. Again. <laughs> <laughs> um, then we have Art of the Week. This week we talk Registeel. Yeah. Josh is going to bring us another question of the week. Um, this week's card of the week is going to be double V from rebel clash. Mm -hmm. And then we'll end the show with our opening of the week. Yeah. I'm excited. So get ready. Buckle up. Jump right in. Buckle up. <laughs> I'm putting this in neutral. <laughs> we're staying still. <laughs> All right. So pick up of the week. Like I mentioned at the top of the show, um, I was able to pick up a shiny dark ride GX box, which comes with the dark jumbo dark ride GX Darkrai GX promo and four booster packs of Shining Legends. Okay, okay. Um, but I am feeling very froggy, like I said, yeah. and I just need to open one. Okay, right now. So just bear with me. We'll get to your yours in a second. But 
you know, without, without, without hidden fates, it's like, I just, I'm still missing some shinies from this, like, shiny Volcanion, and I just want it. It's a small it's, set, too, right? It is, yeah. Um, so I'm going to give out the, the code here. It is 9VLYN6RWCP6WV. Good luck. All right. Energy is metal. What what pack steel. did you open? Just out of curiosity. Uh, the Mew. The Mew pack. Okay. Okay. I got a Liopard, a Volcarona, a Spiritum, Jinx, Crocna, Scraggy, a Buizel, a Golette. My reverse hollow is a Venusaur, and my rare is a hollow Manaphy. Okay. Okay. Mm. Not quite what you're looking right. for. Not one that I was looking for, and I just actually pulled the Manaphy. Of course. But you as did. a reverse hollow in my Insta Booster today. So you can check that out on our Instagram. Yes. Yes. Yes, indeed. We have some news about the Instagram, actually. Which actually yes. will probably already have happened by the time people are listening to this, so it's weird to promote it, but um if you're listening But even even if you're you're not you know, even if you haven't seen it, yeah, go to our Instagram. Yeah, because what are we gonna do, Josh? Uh, we are going to unbox, um, courtesy of our friends over at TN Comics. Um, the sorry, I'm trying to reach for it and grab it here. Uh, I forget the official name of it. It's the Trainer's Toolkit. Everything you need to build. A powerful deck. So essentially, we're going to have to bring our tool belts. Uh, I always wear mine, Adam. I know. I've got I've got my top loader here. I've got my sleeves over here. <laughs> and I've got my damage counter in my fanny pack. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, yeah, no, this is exciting. <laughs> uh, yeah, TN Comics hooked it up. Um, thank you to, to them over there for sure. Uh, I'm excited to open this and see what's inside. Uh, I think there's actually some packs inside that we get to open. Too. Yes. <gasps> Very exciting. Yeah, we could do a little pack battle. Yeah. So uh, See how that rolls. Yeah, it'll be on our Instagram. So if you haven't seen it yet, it's already happened, but you should be able to go to the Instagram and watch it again. So be sure to check that out. Definitely. Yeah. Um, it's a nice little pickup you had this week, Adam. Yeah. Did you uh did you find anything? Uh well I went hidden face hunting for you. Um I went to a target on Friday, uh, because we needed to, and they unfortunately had no hidden face, and I was bummed. Um but then today I went to the same target that I bought Hidden Face at last week. I stopped on my way home, I was super careful, super quick. Um they were like making sure people were wearing face coverings or masks before even entering the store which i super appreciate um and uh i did you know i was only there to check for cards and i unfortunately struck out finding hidden fates for you i i they must have heard this podcast last week and everybody went and scooped them up because they were gone i thought they'd be there i'm sure of it i'm sure of it somebody somewhere was like i heard that the target up in uh, washington that's the place to get them. Yeah, you know, one of the seven that we have here in Vancouver. Um, <laughs> literally, there's so many targets around here, Adam. Uh, yeah, I, I honestly, maybe naively, thought that like the hype was over and they would just be on shelves whenever you felt like buying some. No, I think the hype will continue. Yeah. I think knowing the fact that still to this day, Charizard shiny is a couple hundred dollar card mm -hmm. it makes the set very desirable yeah and even the evolutions are pretty up pretty much up there i mean they're around 40 50 dollars something like that sure. just 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 the shiny vault that they have in that set is just amazing and the packs are so fun to open i understand it i just i thought that we were past it by now but nope we were not nope I'm surprised the Shining Legends are still on the shelf. You know, they have shiny Pokemon in them. Right. And I feel like that's, like, those those packs are going to be worth something someday, it's right? Or, is, or am I just crazy? It's the Charizard. You know? They have a Mew in there, though. It's the Charizard. 
You know it is. Yeah. That's what you've been telling me for how many episodes now? 42? It's all 42. about the Charizard. It's all about the Charizards. Uh, speaking of so, Shining Legends, so Adam. Well, speaking of Charizards, Darkness of Blaze, August 14th. Don't forget. Charizard is in it. Yeah, we need, so, we need to talk. We still need to talk what we're doing. Because I saw what that sucker looks like, Adam. I saw it on the interweb. Somebody posted a picture of the Japanese version of that rainbow Charizard. <sighs> Buddy, that VMAX rainbow. Take a deep breath. I, I just can't even. I was like, you know what? I understand why Adam wants a case of these. That's That needs to be in my hands. So yes, we need to talk. But that that's down the road, Adam. We got, we got some okay. time before that. Because I want to talk more about Shining Legends. Because I Ooh, didn't walk out of Target legends. empty-handed, Adam. All right. I saw a box sitting on the shelf next to the Copper Raja box and the the Sinistee box, all the the new promos I, and whatnot. Can I take a guess? Mm-hmm, you sure can. Was it the Raichu one? Oh, you know it was, Adam. See, it's like Walmart has the Dark Rai and Target got the Raichu. <sighs> this one had five. I don't packs know if that's it. a legit thing. Yeah. Wait, it has five? It has five packs and a big Raichu and a small Raichu and a Raichu coin and a Pikachu um, something or another. I can't remember what it was. Uh, let me see. Oh, oh. It's a, it's the Pikachu with his ears down looking at the rainbow kind of sitting on the hill. Oh, man. Yeah, the holographic art or the holographic one and the Raichu GX and then the big Raichu GX promo card. But yeah, five packs in it, that, Adam. That's like one of the Shining Legends like promos that I don't have. I'm going to have to look into one of those. Well, I didn't realize it came with five packs. Five packs, man. Five. That's why when you said four, I'm like, hmm, interesting. Because I have five in mind, and I'm going to open one right now for you, Adam. Oh, please do. And please get a pull of Shiny. Oh, that'd be great. I've opened some of these. I haven't opened very many. Not as much as I'd like. I haven't gotten any of the cool shinies yet, so um, definitely would like to do that. Uh, code card for everybody out there, Y6NDGPY4PKD2D. Code card, good luck on that. Is uh, Card Trick 4 still on this one? Yes. Okay, yep. perfect. Don't want to mess that up. Uh, we got a Leaf Energy. We have a Trainer Switch. We have a Golurk. Golurk. How do you say that? Golurk? Golurk? Golurk. Okay, Golurk. Golurk. Uh, Golurk. We have a Scrafty. We have a Purloin. We have a Croconaw. We have that same Pikachu, non-holographic form, of course. We have an Ekans. We have a Zora. Zora. Uh, Zora? I, I don't know. Zerora. Zerora. Uh, we have a reverse holly, sh- reverse holly, reverse hollow shroomish, and <gasps> we have an amazing card. Adam. We what have is it? A full <laughs> attention is killing me. Art trainer Pokemon breeder. Ah, oh, that's sick. What a cool looking card. Oh boy. Wow. Very jealous. That's a cool card, man. With uh, the mill tank in the back. So you draw two cards yep. and heal yep. 20 damage from your active Pokemon. If you have no cards in your deck, you can't play this card. What a cool card, man. Nice. Nice. Very nice. That I think I won the pack battle, Adam. You definitely won that. Yeah. So I have four more packs to open. I'm not going to do it here on the show, but I am excited to see what else is in this uh, in this nice little box here. That's exciting. Yeah. I'm excited for you. Uh, that's not all I'm going to open, though. Because we're opening cards, right? I still have some Hidden Fates from last week. I, I, I can't not <laughs> open a pack of Hidden Fates on this podcast, Adam. I know. The luck The luck you just pulled, I mean, you've you got to have more. Yeah. So... Another pack of Hidden Fates. Uh, code card RZP C9NM K99X4T. 
T. Good luck to whoever gets that. And let's see what we got here. We have the Psychic Energy, Brock's Peter City Gym, Giovanni's Exile, Lieutenant Sturge's Strategy, Coughing, Clefairy, Staryu, Jigglypuff, Ekans, Reverse Hollow, Clefable, and the rare is regular old, super boring Blaine's Last Stand. Oh, boom, that is boom, like boom. the worst rare. Yeah, that's unfortunate. So, you win some, you lose some, right? That's Pokemon yeah. cards. Alright. That's it. That's all I got. All right, I, I will got. say it was super fun uh, buying cards again. It, it's, you know, it's a little thing, but it just, it, it's bringing back a little bit of normalcy in my life. Just going to the store and picking up, a, you know, a little box of cards. So, Well, on in my... In my local store, in my local Walmart, they are not stocking anything. The card section is demolished. I bet, yeah. There are no packs. You cannot find a single pack. Um, they had like one Zamazenta tin. They have a bunch of the Darkrai, GX, um, Umbreon, and Deoxys tag team mm -hmm. boxes. Probably because of the $50 price tag. <laughs> yeah. And just like some random other boxes that just came out, um, like the Meowth one. For some reason, nobody wants Meowth, I think which they, doesn't make sense. I think they sent way too many to the stores. I think they overstocked them. Probably. I mean, it's it was the first, you know, V Max we saw. Yeah. And it's not a bad one. I agree. But they sent a lot of them. Probably. Yeah. You're probably right. Yeah. <sighs> what are you gonna do? Well, I'm going to wait and try and go back as often as possible because it still says Hidden Fates are in stock. Ooh, might as well keep I just, checking. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, just be, I went the other day and it's it, like, Adam. yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. And um, I went the other day and they had new Minecraft toys. Mm. They had three. And I'm like, these are all brand new. I've never seen them before. And I'm like, so somebody somewhere is stocking something. <laughs> But they're choosing to stock certain things. Right, right, right. Which just blows my mind. <sighs> Here I am, just wanting Pokemon cards, and nobody wants to stock them. They know, Adam. They know. They know. They're like, we're sitting on this. we got to hold on to it. <laughs> honestly, honestly, probably with, you know, going to their website and seeing how much they're selling Hidden Fates, you know, boxes and stuff for it. Like, they're probably like, oh, we got to get these to our secondhand sellers and, uh, Charge him this much for it. <laughs> okay, tinfoil hat time. Tinfoil hat. <laughs> but anyways, you ready to talk about the art of the week? I am so ready, Adam. So, so ready. Okay. So this week, we have Registeel as our pick. And uh, there were 11 different arts in total. Okay. That I could, that I could find. Sure. And... These are some of my topics. Okay. Um, and honestly, I don't really like have an order. I kind of just put these together, but I'm going to, I'm going to start at the bottom and just kind of say Registeel star gets a, an honorable mention. I know I don't normally do this, but it is a shiny before shinies were a shiny oh, in game. Okay. Well, I, I mean, I guess they, you know, they have shining Pokemon. So it, it's just before shinies were as common in the card game as they are right now. Gotcha. Okay. And it's a star. So you could only have one in your deck. It was kind of like a prism star. Okay. Prism star was just a new spin on stars. Makes sense. Yeah. And so it just, it just gets an honorable mention because it's like, a meteor going off in the back and it's kind of just reaching out at you. It's got a very cartoony look. Mm -hmm. I like it. I appreciate it. Yeah. And, uh, so coming in at three, we have Registeel from Crimson Invasion. Okay. Now there was two, there was one that came as the, you know, the build and battle box promo. Okay. And one that's just from the set. Now, what I like about this in both pictures, you see a trainer 
he's in like a laboratory. Mm-hmm. And I, I want to say this is like the Acer conservation area or whatever that place is in Sun and Moon. Cause it is based in on the Sun and Moon sets. Um, Cause it's on this like shiny floor and you just, you feel like, you know, he's definitely got some shine to him and you can see the reflection on the ground and of the, and of the lights as well. Right. And he's just kind of the trainer standing in front of them, like kind of like talking. Mm -hmm. And then the promo is the trainer giving him like an attack command. Yeah. And Regigigas like, no, he's got one arm in front of him. Registeel. Charging in. Registeel. Yeah. Registeel. Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) He's just charging in and he just, there's so much like light going on him and you can just tell he is like this beast mechanical, you know, Pokemon. Right. I just, and it's, it's, it was hard to choose one because they both tell a story. Sure. I appreciate you know, that. Cause one could, one could be him attacking and then the other one could be like, Hey, you did a good job. Yeah. Here's a candy bar. So, so just to clarify with like something like this, because all of the text is exactly the same. That's considered the same card, right? Exactly. Okay. Yep. So it doesn't matter what the art shows as far as like playing the cards are concerned. Yeah. Well, I mean, there is the, like the promo status, but usually it rotates with this, the card from the set, but sometimes they say like promos from this point and on can stay. Gotcha. Okay. So that it might fall into that category as in playable, but the other one wouldn't be as far as like the set rotated, but you could still use the older one because the newer, like the newer promo one is still technically legal. Okay. So. Gotcha. It is what it is. So second comes from Celestial Storm. Okay. So this one is such a, terrifying majestic beautiful picture (laughs) it has got dark and stormy clouds behind it Mm -hmm. he's standing in an ocean is what it looks like yeah he basically godzilla like coming out of the (laughs) ocean reaching his hand like he's gonna attack like grab you and all hope is lost and just the artwork on this card is absolutely stunning the amount of details in the clouds the water the rocks yeah it's a stunning card. It, it looks terrifying. Like, like that could be like a horror movie poster. Right. It goes from this, you know, cute kids Pokemon character to, all right, that is terrifying. Yeah. I am going to wet myself here. <laughs> yep. I like and it. And then coming in at number one, it's from Ancient Origins. Okay. And I just love everything about this card. So he, Registeel, is like got both hands kind of like one's reaching on the wall. He's pulling himself out of, you know, cave ruins. Mm-hmm. And it just gives you that that feeling like this is a legendary Pokemon. He's supposed to be hidden yeah. and he's sacred. He just woke up and he's looking for whoever woke him up. Exactly. Yeah. And there's some like some blue flames in the back. You know, it looks like he's he's can see outside and the light in the corner of the card is like perfectly, you know, shining right off of him I and reflecting. Love the colors. Yeah, it's this is by far my my favorite. Yeah. When I saw this one, I was like, that's it. And then I, <laughs> then I saw well, I saw both of these cards and I was like, I, I can't I can't tell which one's the best. Right. But I really like the feeling you get when you look at this Registeel from Ancient Origins. Yeah, this this one, like you say, you you could tell how special this Pokemon is. Exactly, and it's like, yeah, I could I could have thrown in the like because there are EX versions mm. of Registeel, and it's like they it was just it's just kind of lame. He just coming out of the card, sure. and it's just very basic. Yeah, um, and I was like, well, did I give it a chance for the full art? And it's like, I'd be basing the beauty of the card based on like the touch. Right. And that's not what we're doing. No, no. Because cause of texture wise, yes, the full <laughs> art does feel nice. But that's a given, Adam. Yes. Yeah. So Registeel, 
from Ancient Origins is at the top of my list. I love it. I'm impressed. I did not think I would uh, enjoy Registeel cards as much as I do. They look phenomenal, man. I'm a fan. Yeah, I'm. He's he's been around. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. Well done, sir. Well done. I tried. I tried my hardest. You, what else do we got? Would you like you, to know you your gonna, assignment you gonna... for next week, Adam? Yes. Okay. Give me my homework. Okay. Well, I'm over here on my random Pokemon generator. I have the quantity set to one. I have the generate button ready to smash. Well, speaking of... Ra- Hold on one second. Yes. Speaking of random Pokemon, uh-huh. I was watching Twilight Wings, episode six. Okay. And in it, you can, like, it's just a lot of ghost Pokemon or get get a little highlight. And there's one Pokemon that you only see the bottom. And if I didn't like go back and pause multiple times, mm-hmm. I would not know that that Pokemon existed. <laughs> and I'm still not sure if that even existed, but there was a, a bottom half of a Pokemon that doesn't exist on this podcast. Um, and I'm just like, that yeah. And, and it's like, Pokemon. and I don't think Pokemon acknowledges it exists either because yeah, they're trying to write it out, man. It, yeah, it was in a cemetery. It was inside of a tree. Dead. And all I saw was the bottom half of it. Yeah. No face, no nothing, just some green moss and like the curve, R- the curve of the anchor. R.I.P. And, I, and I'm like, yeah, and I'm like, that, they don't even acknowledge it exists. <laughs> so we definitely can't. Just what it is. It is what it is. What, what did your random number generator bring us for next okay. week? Are you ready? I'm so excited for this one. I hit the button. I'm ready. It's blue and white, Adam. Seal. No. No. Sfeel. Sfeel. No. Blue and white. Articuno? Definitely not. Ugh. I think summer, summer, summertime. All right. Froakie. No. Warm summer Pip-lop. days. Piplup. Piplup. Warm summer days. Need a little. A, is it a shiny Psyduck? Vanilla ish in your life. Hmm. <laughs> is it Vanillix? No, it's vanilla ish. Oh, vanilla ish. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, it's vanilla ish. <laughs> vanilla ish. So, is that the basic form? I have no idea what this Pokemon is. <laughs> it's an ice oh cream cone. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Vanillish? Okay. I, I don't know. What's the family? Isn't there's three, right? There's Vanillux, Vanillish, and Vanilla I, I don't know what the other one is. Okay. Well, it's Vanillish. So whatever form that is. That I think is the stage one. Okay. Good luck. Yes. <laughs> Cause it's Yeah, here we here we are on a Pokemon podcast trying to figure out the names. <laughs> there's Vanillite, there's Vanillish. And there's vanilla. X. Oh, okay. So it's the middle one. Cool. Yeah. All right. All right. Good luck, sir. Good luck. I, I don't think a lot of like first evolutions get a lot of love as far as the cards are concerned. No. Almost never. Yeah. Because you're too busy using rare candy to jump past it because you don't want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh gosh, let me evolve that that Charmander into uh, Charizard because I would rather see Charizard than a Charmeleon. Yeah. Well. Next week, we're going to stop, smell the roses, lick some vanilla ice cream, and talk about vanillish. Definitely. <laughs> Good luck. I can't man. wait. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, excited. Gosh. I'm excited, Adam. <sighs> there's probably, like, just I'm just assuming right now there's probably, like, three in existence. <laughs> but, hey, I'll be surprised to find out when I, when I do yeah. the notes and uh, get this situated. You never know. <laughs> I'm excited. You never I'm excited. Know. It'll be like top three. There was only three choices. <laughs> well, it's your turn. If, your, what, your job to put them in order then. Yes. <laughs> That's all that matters, Adam. <sighs> well, do you want to do a break now or do you want to do the question first? Oh, we'll do the question and then we'll take a break. Okay. Uh, just a small little question. I, I, I'm i looking at something I don't want to talk about quite yet because I want to make it happen first before I go all in on it. But I'm curious about the collecting aspect of like Japanese cards, uh, Japanese sets. Like 
from a collecting, collection, collector's standpoint, is there more value or less value with the, the Japanese cards? Is there a completely I believe there's less value. Less value? Okay. Why? Because you can't use them in tournament play. Hmm. I see. But it's one of those to each their own. Sure. Some collectors might think or might say, that you know, oh, well, my Japanese cards are, I like them more because the back, um, they're different than our English cards. Right. Hmm. But I will say the hollows look very nice because they have like a silver border. Okay. And it's all shiny. It's It, it makes you feel like it's a GX. Okay. But it's just a hollow. Gotcha. You're like pleasantly disappointed. <laughs> You're like, oh, and what did I get? Oh, it's just a hollow. Huh. And the packs usually are smaller. Okay. I, I usually, I think there's like five cards in a pack. Okay. I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Internet. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure there's like, you know, five or six cards depending. But I, I do... I do think that we both should attempt our chance at the hyper rare tag team Charizard hmm. from the gold tag team GX set. I think that would be a lot of fun. Yeah. Hmm. I just don't know who to buy from. Right. As far as like what's legit and what's not. Um, so if anybody out there knows anybody that we can get our hands on a box each. Hit us up. Yeah. Because that, that's something that I would definitely dive into because any of those gold hyper rares or gold secret rares or whatnot would be phenomenal. I agree. And I would have fun opening them because they're all cool cards. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. And if they're cheap enough, might even get two boxes. Oh, big spender. Ooh. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just curious. Well, I gotta, I gotta limit it. We're, we're aiming for, you know, a case of darkness. That's true. That's true. Gotta pace ourselves, Adam. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was just wondering about like the the Japanese sets. Like, obviously, I wouldn't be able to use them to to play with at all. So it'd be just strictly for collection purposes. And correct. Yeah. I I didn't know if there was a market for resale, um, or if it's less because you can't play. I, I think I think specifically for that one set that I mentioned. Um, because the tag team all stars have those exclusive cards in them, yeah. And I believe it's like one in every like six or twenty. I don't know. It's it's a very large scale of like how many boxes it takes to pull one, right? So I mean, high risk, high reward type deal. Sure. Hmm. Okay. Well, that, that, like I said, easy question, simple question, but uh, just something I've uh, been thinking about recently as I'm starting to get that itch again for, for buying cards. I will say I have a bunch of deli birds that are Japanese, but that's because I want them. Sure. That's a different story. Yeah. Yeah. It's a different story, but it's still still the same book. <laughs> different story. Sure. Cool. Well, thank you for helping, Adam. I can do. I can only do my best, you know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's take a break, okay. real, real quick. Perfect. All right, and we are back. Welcome back, Josh. How was the break? Um, wonderful. I hydrated. I, uh, collected my thoughts and I'm ready to, uh, move on to the rest of this podcast. See, when I collect my thoughts, uh-huh. I collect my thoughts like I collect my Pokemon cards. <laughs> scattered all over. All over the place <laughs> and scattered. <laughs> no rhyme or So it's reason. really hard to get anything done when you have all of these things that you need to get done. I hear you, man. That's basically my my mind is like opening a pack from every single set, shuffling the cards together, and then trying to put them all back in those same packs Mm -hmm. to put them away in those sets and those set binders. (laughs) It's I make a lot more work for myself than I need to. 
That sounds about right. Yep. All right. Just a little housekeeping real quick. This podcast is powered by Patreon. You can check ours out over at patreon.com slash Pokemon Professor. We can support this show for as little as a dollar a month. That dollar is going to get you access to our patron exclusive Discord, which is a fantastic place filled with fantastic people. And if Patreon isn't your thing, there are a few other ways you can help us out. If you're listening to us on YouTube, you can subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. And if you're listening via a podcast service like Apple Podcast or Stitcher, you can take a moment to leave us a review because we would appreciate that. Absolutely. Or heading over. Or head over to, you know, our link in the description, tcgplayer.com, you know, help support the show. Use code FULLHEAL at checkout at tncomics.com. Mm-hmm. That is F-U-L-L-H-E-A-L. And that'll get you 5% off. Yeah. Head over there. Yeah. Help us out. Keeps the boss help happy. Help us out. Help us help you. Yeah. If that makes sense. Because <laughs> we like doing the show and we love that everyone's listening. Indeed. Card of the week, Adam. Card of the week. Let's hear it. Double V. But specifically, the full art from Rebel Clash 188 out of 192. Whoa, 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 whoa. Double. And really, really, the reason that it's the full art is because Double is, you know, a black and white sheep mm-hmm. slash goat yep. thing. Yep. And the yellow, orangish background. Mm-hmm pops so much it really does and where you know we've started getting into the art i i will just highlight double v full art because i don't think there's that much of a difference in price and i really enjoy the color pop and i would rather see this in my opponent's deck like coming at me versus (laughs) the regular one I, i will say some of the v cards the full arts are so messy and convoluted that it's really tough to even see what the Pokemon is like stone journal. I'm looking at you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so it's nice to see like a, a full art V that is just like exactly what you think it should be. And like, it's just perfect. Yeah. I, and this is like, this just shows off the entire double. Yeah. Yeah. The, the other, like the normal art V is just like him, like using tackle. Sure. And kind of all up in your grill. Get like a head and like one hoof, and it's like, oh, what is that? How is that a Pokemon? It's it's certainly not a full Pokemon. <laughs> but we're talking about Double V. Yes. It ha- it's a colorless Pokemon. It has two hundred and ten hit points. It has an amazing ability called Soft Wool. Okay. This Pokemon takes thirty less damage from attacks after applying weakness or resistance. Interesting. Now I sincerely wish the said steel wool because <laughs> it, it would be funnier because it's like a double pun sure but but steel meaning like oh defensive yeah but then it would be weak to fire yeah right steel wool. this this pokemon takes 30 less damage from every other attack <laughs> but but if it's fire it's 30 more damage <laughs> i think that actually would be even better and funnier actually you're probably right yeah but it has a double weakness to fighting to retreat cost so air balloon is going to be your friend to get it out of the active okay. but it has an attack what's that attack you might ask it is called revenge blast hmm. it is three colorless so any energy is going to work it does 120 damage okay this attack does 30 more damage for each prize card your opponent has taken oh so it's a it's a late game guard Correct. So it does 270 damage if your opponent has one prize prize card left. Right. That's amazing. Yeah. That hits all of the t- the tag team GXs. Right. And if something like ADP, where they have 280, you could always drop a Vitality Band and give it an extra 10, 10 attack. And boom, there you go. Damage done. Yeah. That's... And its ability makes it so he's like a two shot. They have to two shot him, right? Unless unless they can hit for two hundred and forty damage in one shot, right? Which doesn't happen very often, I imagine. No, yeah. not at all. <sighs> this is rad. I like this. What what kind of deck would you see this fitting into the the best? Uh, I mean, right now, 
before the rotation. Yeah. You know, you could you could throw one in a Malamar, you could throw one in a dark box, anything where you can abuse the energy. You could you could even throw it in a fire deck, being able to dump extra fires. You could throw it in a grass deck because fire is so heavily played. So you could throw it in the Alolan Executor Rillaboom deck. Anything that excels energy, this is going to do well with. Gotcha. Hmm. I, you know, I wish that it was, you know, water, but you can't change the type of Pokemon. So, because then it would work with water, with uh, Frostmoth. But I mean, even even throwing like a one-off in Zekrom or Pikaram or whatever, you can still, you know, hit for the 150, attach two lightning to it. Next turn, attach again, boom, and you're off. Because you're playing tag teams already. So why not make it a seven, seven prize card, you know, match? But it doesn't have all like the bells and whistles like Raichu does. Raichu, Raichu. Right. GX, the tag team. So I mean I can understand that Bolton's pretty good, it's if not like the best. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, I mean there's a there's a ton of cool ways that you can put this in because it's colorless, so it can go in any deck, theoretically. Right. Hmm. And I mean this is uh you know you you play energy um, switch, you know you dump an energy one turn, next turn you use switch. Energy switch, get another energy, attach. You can come out of nowhere and hit with it. Not only is it a beautiful card, it has many uses. So I don't really think it has a specific deck that it goes in. More than like it, it can just go in any deck. That's fair. That's fair. Is this the card you would use personally? Yes. Yep. Okay. And actually after like picking this as like the card of the week i'm more tempted to put it into my dark box <laughs> a because it's a v card and there's not much hate you know you can put on a v card without just you know a boss's order right but it is fighting weak so it, you know all my pokemon are already fighting weak so what's one more right what's one more indeed hmm. i like it man it's a cool card. Yeah, and yellow is my favorite color. So, honestly, this double is on my list of of needs. I'm gonna get it. Hopefully, in this this next pack of Rebel Clash. <laughs> I hope. I hope, Adam. Cool. Thank you for sharing that card with me. You're very welcome. I hope everyone likes it and. You pick one up because it will see play. It's a it's a cheeky little comeback card, but being able to hit for two hundred and seventy, if you're that far down in prizes, or even two fifty, right. that's powerful. Yeah. That's huge. Uh, and if you and if you're playing something like with damage modifiers or uh, even ADP, you know, because you're excelling energies that way, you could honestly throw this in there. You know, oh, you know, one of your ADPs get knocked out. You're doing like 210, 240 with you use altered creation. So I mean, this thing's a this thing's a tank and a beast. <laughs> it's lovable as a Wulu and terrifying as a double. <laughs> I like it, man. I like it. It's a solid card. Definitely. All right. So uh speaking of Rebel Clash. Yes. Let's let's get into our opening of the week. Let's do it, Adam. Yeah, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> we shall. What's up, everyone? This is Ken from the Pokemon Professor Network, and this booster opening is brought to you by TN Comics. TNComics.com is our go-to site when we need Pokemon TCG products, and if you use code FULLHEAL at checkout, you can get an additional 5% off your purchase. That's full heal, one word, F-U-L-L-H-E-A-L, at checkout for an additional 5% off your total purchase at TNComics.com. This week, TN Comics sent us over some Rebel Clash. Thank you again, guys. Like, it's awesome. Absolutely. Uh, just make sure you check out their site, um, TNComics.com. And like we said, use the promo code f- full heal. 
capital F-U-L-L-H-E-A-L, for that extra 5% off your total order. Um, check out the trainer's toolkits. Those are live. Mm-hmm. Get them because we'll we'll be talking about it next week and you know we'll be opening it live tomorrow. But by the time this comes out, you'll be able to watch it on our Instagram. <laughs> um, Ken did do a YouTube opening. Mm-hmm. So go head over to our YouTube. Yeah. Um, YouTube.com slash Pokemon Professor Network and check that out because Ken did an amazing job. He got amazing pulls. Um, so we can only try to live up to his legacy. It's going to be tough. Um, oh, of his polls. Also, TN Comics. Uh, follow them on Twitter. TNC Wiz. That's T-N-C-W-I-Z. Uh, they've been doing giveaways on that. Um, yes. Yep. So, like, you know, th- they have a small Twitter account now, but it's going to continue to grow. Uh, yeah, let's grow yeah. it. So get over there. If you like giveaways, you like free Pokemon cards, uh, you have a chance to, to win some. So go follow them. Great great uh a little addition to your follows on twitter yes all right so josh do you want to open first i would love to adam um all right and i swear if you pull the the full art double v i'll be very upset because i want it <laughs> let's open a pack of the rillaboom shall we i have a weird question why does every pack say 10 additional cards Additional to what? To your collection. I see. Hmm. Yeah, just like 10 additional game cards because the game's always growing, developing. But there's 11 cards in the pack. Energy, I don't think, is a game card. I don't count that as a game card. I wouldn't. Hmm. That's why I thought it was like, you get an energy card. You're buying the pack for the energy card plus 10 additional cards. Maybe not. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> okay. it's, it's just something I see on every pack and it's bugging me forever. Uh, code card here for Rebel Clash. Z9GXZMMBRLTVD. Good luck to you all. Let's see what I got here, Adam. We got Leaf Energy. We have a uh, ooh Heracross. What a lovely Pokemon. Uh, Capacious, Cap- Capacious, Cap- Cap- Capacious Bucket. Capacious. Oh, Capacious, Capacious, Capacious bucket? bucket. Uh, Turf Field Stadium. Applin. What a great little Pokemon that is. Uh, the Galar- Galarian Deramaka. Little ice boy, chubby round ice boy. Uh, Bunnelby, Vulpix, Phantom, uh, Reverse Hollow Masquerade, and the rare is a normal garbage. Garbodor. A Garbodor? Garbodor. <laughs> I was like, wait, that's not a Pokemon. I was like, I get that there might be a rare that's garbage. No, it's literally garbage, Adam. All right, I'm opening a Cinderace art pack. Okay. Well, I'm going to attempt to... Oh, there we go. First time. First time opening up a pack. All right. Code card is 2LJKM6W2LVVPQ. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Because that's what we need right now. We need the luck. All right. Psychic Energy. Hat Trim. Carkle. A Beware. A Nat 2, a Hone Edge, an Impidimp, Magmar, a Lictabuzz. My Reverse Hollow is a Rare Aegislash, and my Hollow is a Flapple. Flapple! Flapple with an Apple Drop. Flapple, Flapple, Flapple. I know, I saw the white coat and I got all excited. Yeah. And then was let down with a with just a Hollow. Well, you still beat my pack, Adam. <laughs> yes, yes, so I did. that. All right. Thank you again to TN Comics for those packs. Yes, very appreciated. Mm-hmm. That's a show, Adam. Yeah, I think it was a show. Yeah. That's all I got for you. I don't know what else you got for me. I don't think I got anything else. Wrap it up, man. Wrap it up.
All right. All right. I'm going to wrap it with a bow. Okay. All right. So email us info at special conditions, tcg.com. Send us a voicemail, leave us a text picture, 732-835-8639. I know Pidgey Grabba had sent me his deck list. So I re- responded to that with a couple changes because that, because you had asked me last week. So just an update there. If you do have a deck list and you want me to look at it, don't be, af- don't be afraid. Email it in. I'll look at it. I'll see what I can do. And uh, remember, if you're affected by a special condition, don't forget to use a full heal. Good night.